All right, I'm back. I just ran out of fuel. I'm gonna drop that stage. We'll give it go. And I'm gonna continue my gravity turn slowly but surely. And I'm gonna pause it when I get to about 45 degrees. You can see, like I said, I don't have to go to the map. You can see my apoapsis is about 26K and climbing. Still have three quarters of this stage of fuel left, which is plenty. Um, and you can see I am piloting this manually, you ASAS haters. I just have kill rotation off, which is a really nice version of ASAS. It lets me give control inputs, but then it holds position as I ask it to. All right, 35K, 36K. I'm going for a parking orbit at about 100K. Um, that's where I like to do it. Oh, I missed time to my launch because my moon's already above the horizon, but that's all right. I'll explain that when I get there. So we're climbing, we're climbing, we're climbing. 45, 46, 7. And that's that stage. All right. So, one of the nice things about MechJet, this information display, is um, this right here. So as I showed you, I can show you my apoapsis, which is 60K. I can also show you my time to apoapsis, which is 58 seconds, which is good. I've got a decent amount of time. I'm still climbing. You can see I'm only at 51K, and I'm still climbing pretty nicely. And I've got a ways to go before I get to the apoapsis. I'm going to make orbit easily. Um, but the trick is I'm going to basically try to do an orbital injection where I burn all the way into a circular orbit. That's an efficient way to do it. MechJev doesn't even generally do it. Um, it's hard to do. You need to learn it for each design because it depends on your thrust to weight ratio and everything like that. Um, basically, I'm gently going to go more and more horizontal. And I'm going to try to make this go to zero when these numbers get to the right value. Um, I'm not going to pull it off, I can tell you that right now, but I'm going to get reasonably close. At least I hope, since I'm bragging here. Now for you uh, newbie pilots, I'm still in the atmosphere. The atmosphere ends at about 72k. I'm getting close to out of the atmosphere. My top of my orbit, and at this point it's not yet in orbit, it is a ballistic trajectory. But I am just now going to pass that point. See, my time to apoapsis is now about 29 seconds. I may have flattened out a little early. We'll find out in a second. But let me demonstrate another nice thing about smart ass and mech jab here, which is surf. You hit this, you can basically order a direction. So again, you're manually piloting. You're telling the spacecraft what to do. But you're letting the computer fly. Uh, you're letting the autopilot um, make sure your heading's right. So I'm gonna basically wanna, I wanna push east. You can see I'm gonna head it at 90 degrees. And I want my nose to be about 20 degrees up. That's what I'm doing right now. So if I enter that, I can type. There you go. You can see, MechJab is gonna hold it at 20 degrees. There's my steering arrow right there. Um, my apoapsis is coming up a little fast, so let's make that 35 degrees. I can do this manually. I'm telling the computer what to do. But it's, ah, see that? Now it's climbing up, it's going up. So I'm balancing it right on the edge, which is what I want to do. So I actually want to bring this down a little. Still climbing up, and 25. I'm not doing it fast enough. There we go. Rolling down slowly, that's what I want. I want this number to climb up towards 100, I want this number to climb down towards zero, and I want them to do them at about the same rate. All right, 10.
almost have achieved orbit. Technically, anyway, if there wasn't an atmosphere. But I'm going for a circular orbit, so I'm going to want these things to be the same. And I'm not going to achieve it. I'm not going to get a perfect circular orbit at 100k. I'm going to have about 75, 76, and 100. But that's not too bad. I'll stand by that as being pretty good piloting. All right. 98, 99, 100. Thrust off. All right. There we go. Now, if I had timed my boost to orbit better, I would have done it earlier in the orbit. I would have done it over here. Um, why do I say that? Well, I want to do a lunar injection, which means I want to get my spacecraft over to the moon. And there is a best time to do that. Um, and that time is basically, you can imagine that the moon's going to move in its orbit over to here. My spacecraft's going to move in an orbit over to there. And if these two intersect, which is what you want to happen if you want to land on it, then there's a proper time to eject your spacecraft away um, to the transfer orbit. And you can calculate that out with a calculator, or if you're like me and you hate doing things by hand when you can program a computer in MATLAB or some other handy language, then um, you have your computer do it. Um, um, and there is a nice mod in the game that basically acts as that computer for you. Um, but, um, but for the moon, it's almost ridiculously easy. There's really no point to doing it for the moon. The angle is about 30 degrees. Um, so if I'm here, looking this direction, I want the moon right about here. Uh, and you can see the moon's over here. So if I tried to burn now, um, I would have to waste a lot of fuel to intersect the moon. Um, or alternatively, one really nice thing you can do, it's a coincidence in this game, is if you're at an orbit of somewhere between 80 and 100K, and you're looking this direction, when the moon rises above the earth, limb of the earth, that's the time to burn. And you don't have to do all those calculations. You don't have to use protractor, which is why I'm not showing you it right now. Um, but you can see the moon is not here. It's here. So again, wrong time to burn. So what we're going to have to do is speed things along. So we're going to go over here, speed up the game. Come on, why can't I warp faster than this? I know what I'm doing. While I'm here, I might as well circularize my orbit, at least a little bit. All right, so while I'm circularizing my orbit, I might as well explain what these buttons mean to you. So this indicator over here is retrograde. That means your thrust, your spaceship would thrust, your noise is pointing the direction away from the direction you're traveling. This button over here, this, this symbol over here is prograde. That means your noise is pointing in the direction you're traveling, so thrust will speed you up. A directional thrust will speed you down. I want to speed up. I want to move this up to 100k. So I hit prograde and the computer is rotating my um, spacecraft to that direction. And you say, why don't I rotate it myself? Well, I could. Um, no problem. Again, spacecrafts and airplanes have autopilots for a reason in real life. I'm telling it what to do, but I'm not necessarily pushing all the buttons. But even so, there are two buttons that are missing in the game, and I'll show you what those are. Um, and that's one of the reasons this is really nice. Um, so you can see I just circularized my orbit. I got 99k on that side and I got 101k on that side. That's circular enough, don't you think? I think so. So what about these two? Normal plus, normal minus, radial plus, radial minus. Well, those indicators don't exist on this nap ball, which is a major pain in the ass um, because those are really important directions to point. Now in some nice geometries, it's pretty easy to calculate where these are, but when you're flying um, when you're flying, sometimes it's not, and, and it's nice to have the ability to click on these, tell it what you want to do, and it points you in the right direction based upon that. Um, now, supposedly in point 0.18, these symbols for those directions will appear in the game, which will make things easier and certainly be useful. But since they don't exist right now, I'm going to show you what they are. Now, a lot of people don't even know what these things do. So if I push, um, first of all, there's two other points in the nav ball. There's the blue dot in the center up here. That's the direction that's pointing directly away from the body you're orbiting. Which, um, so that's pointing directly out from Kerbin. This one is pointing directly into Kerbin. Now right now, because I'm in a circle,